Yes, so today I'll be giving you five top tips on how to resell Supreme. I was reselling Supreme in the first lockdown. I'll give you all the tips that I learned on how to do it. The first thing I'll be talking about is where you can actually buy Supreme from. You can either buy Supreme from Depop sellers, you can get on Facebook groups. Be very careful with them though, there are some dodgy people on them. Vinted as well probably has some Supreme on there. eBay is another good place to look. And obviously getting it off the drops on 11am on a Thursday if you are in the UK. But the avenues I chose mainly were drops and Depop. Before you even buy any Supreme, there's one thing that you've got to do that a lot of people seem to overlook. It's arguably the most key thing when reselling Supreme and it's doing your research about the items. It's so easy to do research on Supreme, especially if you're buying directly from drops. There's tons of Instagram accounts out there that will give you the estimated resale for that week's drop. Sometimes they are a bit inconsistent, but they are going to give you really good estimates most weeks. As well to look at while you're on their accounts, look at the comments and kind of see what people are saying. If the comments are quite positive about the drop, you're probably going to make a good amount of money from the drop. If a lot of people are saying they don't like it, and stuff like that you're probably not basic logic on the instagram accounts they normally post the estimates around on a tuesday or wednesday i like to look on both of the days just to know as early as possible what is actually going to sell versus what's not going to sell another good way of seeing if things are popular is going on the supreme community website i'd use both of these methods when buying through drops i'd go on the supreme community website and i'd look through to see what people are disliking and liking from that week's drop this will give you a really good indication of what's going to sell versus what's not going to sell and what the rough kind of sellout times are going to be for the items obviously if the item has a lot of dislikes the sellout time isn't going to be very good nor is the resale value another thing to look at while you are looking at the likes and dislikes is the amount of people that have left dislikes or likes if the like percentage is high but not that many people have liked it it normally means it will sell out relatively fast but the resale value won't be too insane on it if the like percentage is higher and there's a lot of them both of these factors will be true it will sell out fast and the resale value is likely to be very high just obviously where the amount of likes shows that it is a very hype drop but if you're looking to buy through depop and kind of buy supreme off sellers a good way to research it is literally just by looking through and seeing what other people are listing it for nine times out of ten a supreme t-shirt will sell for at least 45 pounds because that's the retail this rule doesn't apply to all of the tees some tees with a weird design won't get the 45 pounds they'll go for under retail as well the more you message people about buying items you're also learn kind of what people are willing to give away each item for all items will pretty much have a different value there's not one ballpark value for t-shirts say some will sell for more some will sell for less really depends on the design as well another thing to think about before you even buy anything is the time of year if it's the peak of winter like it is now it's january it's even slowing outside personally i wouldn't go and buy 10 supreme t-shirts because you're not going to sell them very well look more into jumpers and stuff like that but then obviously when it comes to summer look for t-shirts like bags bags are really popular bags are kind of popular all year round really so just be mindful of the time of year and the season before you buy any supreme now you've done your research let's actually get on to buying the supreme as i said there's two avenues you can go down when buying supreme one is buying through depop and one is buying through drops first i'll go over the pros of buying supreme through depop you can buy in bundles on depop which obviously you can't do off the drops so you can have a lot of items coming at once and as well when you buy in bundles you're likely to get quite a good deal for that just where you're taking multiple teas off someone's hands at a set time i know when i get a bundle offer i'm more likely to drop off more money than i would say if the person was just buying one item as well with depop you can have a lot more frequent flow of items in and out of your shop obviously as i just said you can buy in job lots and as well you're not limited to one drop a week and normally one item a week so you can potentially make more money where you just have that consistent flow of items going through your shop a thing to look out for when you are buying through depop is the color and the condition of the tees personally i never did it i never bought anything that was less than 10 out of 10 condition because it's going to take longer to sell because not as many people really want items items that are bad condition and as well if you buy something with stains on it you're gonna make probably a lot of profit than if you would have bought something without stains and as well the colors that generally sell best are gray black and white they're normally the colors that go the quickest but if you have learned something so far in this video please drop it a like if you so appreciate it really does help my channel and this video out massively 
Now let's get on to the cons of buying through Depot, which is the first one that is very time consuming. Like as I said, I did it last lockdown, so I had quite a lot of time on my hands. All day I was just messaging people, asking what the lowest they're doing on an item is. That does get very tedious after a long time as well, because you just get aired, you get people being rude to you. Which personally, I never got, because if a lot of them people would have replied, I could have made a deal with them. I was really lowballing people, because it's better to go in lower than higher. Say you got in for a tea that's £50, and you go in at 40 they're more likely to say yes straight away but you could have got that for 30 if you would have gone in at like 25 say you see what i mean i'm going in very low half price low realistically i know i'm not actually going to get that price i'm just making sure that i'm getting the best deal i physically can another con with default you are going to struggle to get them really good deals and them really big profit margins that you could get off the drops just where people who are reselling supreme most of the time do know the value of their items unfortunately i know obviously where you're just paying retail off the drops and you're not paying any reseller fees at all which most of the time i was trying to pay under retail for every item i got which i pretty much succeeded in doing but that meant i did get a lot less items but i was guaranteed profit and all them items i did get but let's get on to the pros of buying off the drops. As I just said, you can make a lot more money from buying directly off the drops. Just where you could buy a £40 tea, say, and resell it for 80 Like I did one time, I bought a Supreme Yoshi Yamamoto tea off the drop, bought it for 40 sold it for 80 same day, where I would not have had a chance at all of doing that if I went through the Depop method. And as well, you are also increasing the value of your item when buying it through the drops because you are buying dead stock, which you can still do on Depop, it is a lot rarer. The cons of buying through the drops are sometimes the cost of the items are going to be dramatically more. Like if you're going for the more high value items like coats and stuff like that, you're going to be spending at least two to three hundred pounds. I knew I couldn't have done that then. I was spending max really 30 to 35 pounds an item because that's all I could afford. As well as I said, there is only going to be one drop a week, so you're already going to be able to really get about one item a week. But obviously, as I've already said again, that one item a week could make you the same amount of money as reselling free teas through the Depot method. But one thing I would say about doing this if you don't enjoy clothes and you aren't really into supreme and stuff like that i wouldn't bother because you're not going to enjoy it and you're probably going to end up putting a lot of time into it especially if you're going through the depot method so that's another really key thing just enjoy the clothes and enjoy the supreme kind of culture in a way then you'll really enjoy doing this because at the start you're not going to be making the most amount of money for the time you're going to be putting into it because where you're going to be new to it you're not really going to know what you're doing and you're going to have to learn a lot of stuff if you want to see some of the stuff that i had when i was buying and selling supreme go on to my depop it's all on there if you just scroll down a bit you'll see all the stuff that i was reselling and if you go on to my purchases you can see all the items that i bought and you'll be able to see the amount of profit that i made on each item and as well get to see some of the cool supreme that i used to have that i wish i still had to be honest i'm definitely gonna try and buy some of it back trust me funny story i actually bought the second tea that i ever bought with a supreme drop back the exact same one bit of useless information for you but if you have enjoyed this video or you have learned anything please like the video Video, it would massively help my channel and this video grow and drop a comment saying if you have learned anything and if you found this video helpful the feedback would be much appreciated and if you have any questions about reselling supreme just drop it in the comments i'll get back to you as soon as i can but as i said if you did enjoy the video or you have learned something please drop it a like subscribe to my channel comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future